Okay, so when do we not perform a procedure turn? Well, this section is pretty well described in the aim of the Federal Aviation Regulations, and there is really no acronym or anything to describe it, so let's try to put an acronym first to see if you can remember it more easily. The acronym is SHARP TT. The S stands for straight in. You would not do a procedure turn if the controller at some point said, for example, 757 Delta Papa cleared straight in for the ILS runway 23. In general, you would receive a straight in approach when you're close to 30 degrees from the final approach course. Your own heading and the final approach course are within 30 degrees. That's generally when you receive a straight in approach, but it could happen at any point. But obviously, you're going to have to be quite aligned with the final approach course. You might be holding in lieu. Sometimes, like shown here in the figure, you would be holding, and once the controller says cleared for the approach, your next leg inbound, you would proceed straight in for the approach. If you're doing an arc of DME, if you're doing an arc to final, you would obviously continue straight in once you reach the final approach fix. Again, this assumes that you have received the approach clearance. If you're being radar vectored, the controller will usually vector you to final. Sometimes during training, it might be beneficial to be vectored to a procedure turn or to something else. And this is usually asked by the flight instructor or you yourself. When your flight instructor tells you to ask the controller for a full approach, then he will vector you for the full approach. But if you don't ask to be vectored for the full approach, they will vector you to final. The P stands for no procedure turn. As you see in the figure, if there is from a feeder route or from some other place that you're coming from to the final approach course, if it says on it, no PT, it obviously means do not do a procedure turn so you would proceed straight in. Performing a teardrop procedure is a mandatory course reversal and it is required for the approach and it's already, if you want, kind of a procedure turn. So you're already doing a procedure turn, it's just it's a teardrop instead of a normal procedure turn. And finally, timed approaches. This is explained later on when we explain ATC procedures on our courses, but the timed approach is something that you would do at, uh, for example, Sun and Fun or Oshkosh, whenever there's a large gathering of aircraft. In all of these cases, you do not do a procedure turn. So remember, sharp TT. And for more information on this topic and many others, check out passfaexams.com.